everyone. Thanks for stopping by to see what I am up to. And I have a super heavy box here that is from Transcend by Ever Eve. And this is their uh, subscription box, their clothing um, subscription box. A little bit about Transcend. There is a $20 styling fee. You get credit towards any item that you keep in the box. This is all pretty standard too. Just like all the other boxes, you fill out a style, you're assigned a stylist. You get two to three complete outfits so that you get more items in this box is heavy you have five days to decide what you're keeping or what you're sending back you buy four or more you save 10 percent, which is good you refer a friend you both save 20 percent on your box that's really nice i think for a limited time um if you join transcend you have one dollar styling fee for your first box which is nice i do believe it's usps for returns if you use the same email address for the Transcend style box and on the Ever Eve website, you can save things to your wish list and then they can sort of see that and maybe pick some items and have them in your box. Um, and that I think is pretty much it for that. So let me just get rid of that. So like I said, this is a big, big heavy box. So we're just gonna get right into it and Oops, just knocked the camera. I'm so sorry. And this is what I see. Oh, it's heavy. So just like all the others, you know, you get an envelope here, which has your style note and pricing sheet, which we will do later. We have some bundles. So I'm going to show you this one. I don't know if you can see things are falling out left and right. What I'm going to do is put this on the floor and we'll just do bundle by bundle and quickly show you and then we'll get to the try on. Here, let's see what this is. And this is by, if I can find out who makes it. Cannot. Peyton Jensen. And this is a cardigan. Uh, black, I do believe. This cardigan is way too big. Too long, too big. It has like that flowy front, which I'm not usually a fan of. I can't even find the other arm. That's how big this cardigan is. I mean, it's lightweight. It has all that um, cuff material there. Looks like there's a lot of material around the neck that would gather, you know, just your basic black cardigan. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. And then we have ooh, a tank dress. And this is, I guess your, I guess that's a leopard print, animal print. This is Alice and Joy tank style dress. As you can see here, a little flare, you know, more fit towards the bottom. No pockets that I can see. Yeah, no pockets. But definitely, ugh, I'm not having a good time here today. Definitely a tank style. I'll turn it around. So this is bra friendly. Um, cute. I'm not generally a sleeveless person, and I did state that in my note. No sleeveless. But okay, so let's... Put these items with this paper and try to keep them off to the side. Pull out the next bundle real fast and undo this. Don't want to waste too too much time on this part. Okay, another no sleeveless, and then we have a Peyton Jensen, I guess a cami. Uh, no adjustable straps, V-neck in the front and the back. It is lined, and this is more your red tones red pink white a little bit of black i would assume that's black some purpley pink and the lining is you know here's the lining um once again not i don't think i wear camis unless i'm trying to put cover like under a sweater so that's something that would go against this no sleeveless oh we have jeans from cut from the cloth love these are the connie ankle skinny love those right here my favorite lots of stretch i see some distressing i hope there's no distressing oh there's distressing i don't know how i feel about that and a raw hem which is okay um you know button fly all that good stuff yeah that's the only spot that there's distressing so that might be okay but i'm not generally a fan of that so let's get this one out of the way and then do oh got the last one the last bundle and like I said, you do get an envelope, and it just was at the bottom of my box for USPS. Let's open this one up and see what we have. We have a t-shirt from Z Supply. I love their t-shirts, and this, I would assume, is a white. It almost looks like an off-white or white with gray. That looks like a pretty deep V to me. It might be too low. 
rounded hemline. The Z Supply is so soft and comfortable. It's unbelievable. The next item is from Marie Oliver. Ooh, I don't think I'm a fan of this at all. And this is a blouse. This looks massive, way too big. Long sleeve with elastic down here, which I'm not necessarily a fan of. Here's the back and the front. What does the front do? Oh, the front here. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a string involved here and this would tighten across the top. I mean, no, I, I just don't think I'm gonna like it, but I will try it on. I'm not opposed to trying things on ever, as you know. Only on that rare occasion. These are by Cloth and Stone, so these are going to be expensive, and these are going to be way too big. I can tell from looking at them. And these are just like a, a utility style pant. Side pockets here. You know your flat pockets in the back. You know your flat pockets, and there are you know pockets on the side of the bottom, and it's like a jogger style. But these just seem so massive. And big. I mean, cloth and stone is going to be expensive, and I did ask for a lot of sale items just to try to keep the cost of the items down, but that is definitely too big. And then the last item I see looks like a jacket, which I am not a jacket person. Is that the last item? And this jacket is just, I don't know, this is from Marrakesh. So, where do I even start? This looks like a moto style. The way it zips I, I can't even hold it like i don't even know where to hold it here we go like a moto style it has a drawstring waist that you can cinch it in here's the sleeves these are have nice gathering with zippers and this is more your grays and blacks this is just going to overwhelm me um, not something i like as you can see here's the back i don't know if you guys can see the drawstring part does have two zip pockets and then there is like a little added pocket towards the bottom here cute um if this is just not me whatsoever so let me put try to keep these sections together because a lot of times they um do outfits based upon how they're packaged so i want to try to keep them that way so i can try things on that way so give me just a few moments and we'll be back with the try on Okay, I have the first item, and this is an outfit number three, and this is the Allison Joy Stevie tank dress. Um, let me see if I can get you the price. The Stevie tank dress, gray snake, this is a size large from Allison Joy. It's $59.99. Um, let me just let me leave this here. This way I can do it. Um, I don't mind the neckline. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have said no sleeveless. <coughs> excuse me and of course this is tank dress style so sleeveless i don't generally wear sleeveless it is also too big throughout here if it needs to be a little bit brought in it's just too big there otherwise it's fine i think it's a little too long if this was maybe a petite where it came up right at my knee or slightly above would be better otherwise the fit is not bad i don't think i mean it's still got a little bit of room but not like massively a lot of room and it's kind of cute um but once again too big here i don't like sleeveless and slightly too long so i will not be keeping this one and then this is also part of this look and this is so i will try it on it's all part of the outfit <coughs> excuse me and this is the peyton jensen gwen cardigan black size large it needs to be like a small in order to fit and it is $64 and I don't know if some of these were on sale this was not so this is one of those like rolled hem you know rolled around the neck let me just find the arms and one of these like long you know long uh ribbing that's what I meant to say from you know that I guess if you had to fold it up you could don't necessarily know if I would there's just too much material up there like I guess you could if you wanted to have the sleeve fit better which I would do you know you could roll it up here or just zhuzh it whatever um, you know you wanted to do just to bring it up so that it fit nicer um, it's just way too long and just way too much like this is too much for me I mean you can see here how big this is another person could get in here 
it's just too much and overwhelming. Now, if this was like um like a to my hip cardigan, a shorter cardigan, this would be perfect with this then, is if the dress fit and the dress does not, um, because then this would be a cute for fall now in the evening if it's chilly to have it this is very lightweight sweater and it's a, it's a nice sweater it's just i don't like all this part here the super long stuff here and i know i've seen people say you know you can tie these i, I just i'm not into all that just get rid of it don't and then this is too much around the neck and so this whole outfit for me is a no so then we'll move on and go to one of the other outfits that they sent Okay, I have outfit number two on, and this is the Peyton Jensen Jada Stripe Cami. Uh, little, I don't like sleeveless, number one. The, I didn't take my um, bra off. I was gonna just tuck the sleeves down, but I heard uh, the straps down. They would need to be adjustable because this is too low, so I would wanna be able to bring it up just a little bit, and I can't do that because they're not adjustable. By bringing it up, I think it would fit better under the arm. It really is adorable and would be cute under a cardigan. It, it really is cute. And with jeans, with a dress, you know, if I had to put dress pants on, it really is cute. Here's the back. It has a little slit on the side. I mean, it's lined. Here's the lining. So it, it is nice. <clears throat> and this is pink multi, $24.99. So the price is awesome uh just not for me if this had adjustable straps i would seriously probably get it to wear under a cardigan um because i think the coloring is just phenomenal to be able to wear with black with blue with so many with blue jeans there's just endless possibilities and then i could just put a cardigan over it i would consider but not this not this low i would not and with the same v cut out in the back that doesn't like i said that doesn't bother me the jeans are cut from the cloth, which I love. And these are the Connie Ankle Skinny, which is the jeans that I do prefer from them. And these are $89. So these are a little pricey, but cut from the cloth um, is, they just fit like a glove. There's just so much about them that I love. They're just comfortable. I like the the detail at the, at the bottom there, the way they sort of come out like this. They put their raw hem. The fit of them, I think, is phenomenal. You know, all working pockets, plenty of stretch. It doesn't, like, flatten your bum or anything like that, but just, and once again, such soft material. But I'm not, I, I just don't know if I'm going to keep them for $89. And it's a shame that this did not have adjustable straps. Why don't they make all camis with adjustable straps so that you can adjust them to fit? Because then I, because it is a little big uh, here, but I think if I was able to bring this up just that little bit, it then fits better under the armhole, which tells me, you know, which obviously it's, it does, it's just not going to work. I'm not going to expose that much, you know, going to be 59 years old. I don't need to be flaunting everything I have, and I don't dress like that. So this would have to be, and I'm not going to sew it and do, or have it fixed. I'm just not going to bother. Uh, I don't care if it was free. Uh, it has to fit. So probably this is a no, and I'm not sure on the jeans, and that was outfit number two and then we'll do come back and do outfit number one okay so i have outfit number one and i have z supply short sleeve v-neck t in white and this is a medium 39 dollars i think the v is just a little too low for my liking otherwise not bad rounded hem comes up on the side here Cute shirt. I like Z, Z Supply. I think they're very comfortable, but just a little too low. If it just came up a little bit higher, I would like it even more. And then these pants, cloth and stone, these are satin trim cargo pant. $79.99. These are black. These are size large. There's just nothing about these that I like. First of all, they're sitting at my waist and the crotch is like way down here instead of like up here. They're too long, as you can see. They look like hammer pants. And in order for them to fit properly, I'm like all the way up practically to my chest, number one, to have them be the length they're supposed to be. And 
I mean, they're comfortable. It's not that they're not comfortable. They are so comfortable. They're just too big. Um, I don't even know if a medium would fit, honestly. I just think they'd be too baggy. So I'm going to say no to the shirt and no to the pants. And the uh, I will try the shirt on. But then there is a jacket. And this is tie-dye amber moto jacket from Marrakesh. Marrakesh. And that is jacket. Marrakesh jacket, $129.99. This thing is going to swallow me up. I just know it. Let's get that on. This is just not, not me. By any means. It's, okay, you need to go lay down. I can't have you jumping on clothes. Come on, go lay. Get to go. There you go. I don't want her. This is just, first of all, too long. Cute zippers. Uh, it's just, no. Uh, the zip is cute. I like the Moto style. Where's the zip? It's all the way over here. So that aspect of it is not bad. If I can figure out if it would lay right. It's got this weird snap here, so it's I gotta have to make sure it's laying right. I mean, it's cute that way. It does have zipper pockets. It has this cute little pocket here. And you can tighten it. Here's your ties to, you know, cinch in your waist. I mean, it's not me. Not me at all. Um, like, I don't know how you would... I, I couldn't even make the sleeves work if I wanted to. Plus, it's expensive. Um, so I'm going to say no to all three of these pieces. And then just for the sheer savings of time, I'm just going to put this on right over the t-shirt. This way I don't have to stop the camera and show you. It's just because I think it's a little sheer anyway. Okay, so here's this shirt, which is a big no. It's just too, too busy, too much. This here you can tie from what I could see and it would it actually functions that it tightens this up here which I don't think I would do that but ties get this to tie. of course you can't didn't do that right okay so it ties there the sleeves are just too long so once again you know my my fingers aren't even coming out the holes of the shirt so too long, too blousey for me, just is not me whatsoever. I mean, if this is you, fine. Um, here's the back. It's just um, too busy for me. Um, maybe if it was short sleeve or three quarter sleeve and without this time, like maybe in a different style, because you know, it. it I think it's just too much. I, I, for me, I just don't think I would pull for it. Pick a few, like I would love it in the pinks and maybe a little bit of, of an animal print, but with the pink or something like that, I think it's too much, too overwhelming. I know I would never wear this and one, it doesn't fit. So this is the first outfit and then this top is the uh, Marie Oliver Phoebe Peasant Blouse. Animal Stripe, $34.99. So some of the prices she did really good trying to keep them as cheap as possible. There's three things that are the T, Z Supply, $39. This top is $34.99. And then the um, the pink multi cami was $24.99. Everything else is up there in price. And I did ask to keep as cheap as possible. But honestly, I besides the jeans, I think they might be the only... So the jeans, the cut from the cloth jeans, the Connie ankle skinny, because I do like Connie ankle skinny from cut from the cloth. I do have one pair, but not that exact style. Um, $89. I don't know if I'm willing to spend $89. Now I did have my style fee um, that I paid. Of course, I don't remember what that is. You have five days to send this back. I think it was $20. So then it would come off the 89. So that would be only 69 additional dollars. I could get two pair of jeans at Nordstrom Rack for $69 and still have like a Joe's jeans or 
what did I see? I was looking last night. Um, I think STS Blue. They had like three or four different well-known brands that were on their clearance that I could easily get for 30 bucks, $29, $30, $35, and get two pair of jeans for the price of the one pair of jeans. And I do love cut from the cloth, but I just think that even even at the $89 is too much. It's just 69 a little bit better. Um, I think I just, I'm not sure about the jeans yet. That'll be, I'll have to make a final choice. I just think everything else is a hot mess. It's going to go back, and if I send the jeans back, then I lose my styling fee, and so be it. But this box was a mess. Not one item in this box was from my wish list on Ever Eve. I don't know why I bothered putting items to my wish list if nobody's going to even look at it to see what items I'm saving to my wish list that I like. T shirts and, you know, some prints, some animal prints, tie dye t shirts. Where's all the, the nice t shirts? And there was, I didn't put one blouse. I, joggers, I don't, I wouldn't mind pants like these if they fit properly. I'm um, like, I don't even know what size I would have to get. Definitely a medium because these are a large. Um, I don't even know if I'd wear them. I have a pair of joggers. I was going to keep another pair of joggers that I, oh, I did order a pair of joggers from uh, Shop Your Look from Stitch Fix. So I don't even need any more joggers. Uh, jeans, like I said, I just might shop for them on Nordstrom Rack and, and be, content with those and just stop with the jeans altogether in these boxes even though they are nice but they're too expensive and the tops they're just a big mess like I said did anybody look at my every wish list I had so many great things on there and it would have been nice to, even if you couldn't send me that exact thing send me something similar but this was not on my wish list sleeveless is never on my wish list I don't wear sleeve sleeveless items now the cami I would have considered if it fit or if it had adjustable straps under a sweater that would have been adorable so um that is my recap for my transcend like I said the jeans are the only item that I'm going to even consider and they might just go back because of the price so I appreciate you watching and sticking to the end of the try on and I hope to see all of you in my next video. Bye bye now.